What's up guys, it's Kara here, and I'm back with like a kind of weird recipe, I'm gonna admit, but I think you guys are gonna like this, because who doesn't wanna feel full when they're eating their meals? I've done a voluminous breakfast meal idea for you guys before, and I'm gonna do something similar, but a little bit different, if that makes any sense. Very similar, but we are gonna make a high volume breakfast oatmeal, and what we're gonna use to add to it, to keep the carbs down a little bit, but to add a ton of volume, is some cauliflower. So I am going to use today the Trader Joe's organic riced cauliflower. To give you some options real quick, you don't have to use this, you could use fresh cauliflower and steam it, or you can buy the steamer's cauliflower bag and chop it up. So we are gonna use cauliflower in this recipe, but bear with me, trust me, it'll end up very good. So you're gonna need all to do everything on the stove top. So I'm gonna get the stove turned on, and what we're gonna add in here is one whole cup of milk, and I'm gonna use the silk unsweetened cashew milk. I'm just gonna measure out one cup of that. And we're gonna get this in there, and we wanna get it to a boil with whatever portion of oats you would like to use. Um, for myself, I'm only gonna put 30 grams of oats in here. I've already got that measured out, so I'm gonna go ahead and dump that in there and turn this up to high. It should boil fairly quick. I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit of this pink sea salt. Just a little bit of that. And we're just gonna mix that around, and this is one of those recipes um, you're not gonna wanna walk away from the oven. Like I said, it does end up boiling very quickly. So stay close by. Um, the other ingredients that we're going to need are whey protein, and I'm gonna use birthday cake, so we're gonna make birthday cake oats. Taste incredible. The birthday cake is like super strong, super sweet, vanilla like cake frosting, like icing basically. Very, very good. So I like this one the best. It blends very well with the cauliflower. You literally can't even taste that it's in there. So don't be freaked out by it. You won't be able to taste it. Um, other things we're gonna use are a little sweetener, whatever sweetener you like, and one egg white. So this is starting to boil here. We're just gonna let that go for a minute till it gets to a rapid boil. That baby is boiling, so don't let it boil over. Um, we're gonna just turn it down low. And there's no set order you have to add the other ingredients in. So you don't necessarily have to follow what I'm gonna do. But basically for the rice cauliflower, I already steamed it up in the microwave. And I'm gonna leave it in this rice texture because it honestly, it kind of when it's all mixed in there with all the flavors, it tastes like the oats. You really can't tell the difference between the cauliflower and the oats. And this giant ass bowl of cauliflower, which is about 190 grams of cauliflower, only ends up being like nine carbs. So you can get a lot more volume with cauliflower than you can with oatmeal. Um, so I'm gonna add this in here. If you don't want it thick like this, what you could do is throw it in your blender, puree it, puree it up so that it's more of like a smooth and creamy consistency and you can add that to this as well. So it's really just your personal preference. But I'm gonna go ahead and add this all in here. So this is a great staple to have on hand if you're cutting or you just wanna feel more satisfied from your meals or maybe you're someone that doesn't eat enough vegetables or maybe your kids don't and this is kind of a great way to sneak them in and they won't even notice. So go ahead and mix that all around. You can already tell. Look how much volume that added already. So now that I've got this mixed in here, again, I'm keeping this on low just while it's heating to kind of um, heat everything together. I'm gonna dump in there one egg white. I'm taking a chance here doing it right over this so that the uh, shell doesn't go in there. The egg white adds a little extra protein to this recipe, but it also adds a little extra volume as well. But if it freaks you out, you don't have to add it, but honestly, you guys, again, you can't really taste the egg in there. You just wanna go ahead and make sure you mix that up right away so you don't get any like egg chunks in there. 
again, you can tell the volume is kind of expanding on this. I'm gonna shut my oven off now. All right. Now to add the sweet taste and good stuff, I'm gonna add one full scoop of the MTS Way birthday cake. And serving size is a heaping, heaping scoop. Dump that bad boy in there. And the flavor of this just mixes awesome. Just tastes so good that it almost tastes like you're eating cake of some sorts. But they cake oatmeal. The protein mix is a nice, smells so good. Smells like one of those like uh, cake mixes, just the ready to eat um, or whatever, convenient style cake mixes you mix up. Got that all in there. And the last couple things I wanna add, cause I like it extra sweet. I'm gonna add some Splenda in there. I'm gonna add two tablespoons, but whatever you guys like, feel free to dump in there and test it out. The MTS Way does make it nice and sweet all on its own, and um, it does have a little bit of sweetener in the way, so sometimes that's all you need. And last thing we are gonna add, this is optional, but it kind of adds to that cakey flavor. I'm gonna add one tablespoon of this cheesecake sugar-free, fat-free, Jello mix. So I'm gonna add one tablespoon of that in there. Dump that in. That is gonna be the last ingredient, so we're just gonna make sure we mix this all up. I'm gonna go ahead and dump this in the bowl. You have a couple options with this. You can eat it hot, right off the stove, ready to go. Or if you want, you could package this up, put it in the fridge, and eat it the next morning um, as an overnight oat. So you could eat it cold. Um, if you want it a little more liquidy, you could add a little more almond milk in there. Look how ginormous this bowl is. This whole bowl got filled. I mean, it is filled to the max. That's filling right there. So the last thing, totally optional, but you gotta have a little sprinkles on your birthday cake oatmeal. So we're just going to sprinkle some sprinkles on there. And then they melt. And you get that nice little flavor on top. Oh my god, so, so good. You guys are going to love this recipe. Trust me on this one. If you can get your hands on some rice cauliflower, this shit is titties approved. Great for dieting. You guys need to have this in your arsenal, in your kitchen. So try this out. Swear to you, you won't even know it's in there. It's unbelievable. So give this a try. You guys are gonna love it. Keep checking back for more recipes. Go subscribe to my channel if you don't already. And go get your tiger fit, your stuff at tigerfitness.com. This birthday cake, limited time. I don't even know if it's available right now. It's that good. Boom.